New ideas drive progress and growth, improving the lives of millions around the world. The European Patent Office is proud to celebrate the achievements of the world's brightest innovators. Innovators are the unsung heroes of our time. Nominate an inventor for the prestigious 2014 European Inventor Award. Perhaps in the future, a new young generation of technologists may follow in our footsteps. Make, create, innovate in association with the European Patent Office, supporting innovation, competitiveness and economic growth. Tonight on Make, Create, Innovate, the latest in mobile and ta tablet technology that was inspired by a structure that was built more than a thousand years ago. That is the structure, of course. 3D motion sensors. Now, in the old days, well, you would have had a what sort of computer? You turned things round and absolutely nothing happened. It didn't recognise that something had changed. Nowadays, of course, you turn things round and as you turn them, the picture moves with you. It makes it so much more easy and enjoyable for enjoying this sort of technology. So Nick Glass went to meet the man behind this revolutionary technology. A little bit of handheld electronic wizardry. I move. The child warrior Link moves. We both move together. What began as a little bit of fun is now everywhere. A versatile and very clever microchip embedded in all our smartphones, in all our cameras. I invented the 3D motion sensors, and this is a device done in silicon that is able to detect the motion in any direction that you may do. Benedetto Vigna trained as a nuclear physicist until he was tempted away by industry. In 1995, his new boss set him a challenge, something called MEMS. When I got the paper, I understood that MEMS means microelectromechanical system. Before that, this world was unknown. Vigna literally drew strength from the structure of a famous Buddhist temple in Japan. Like the temple, the sensor had to be robust to survive a child dropping it. The Japanese uh, pagoda, let's say, it has a, a, a single pillar, and then it is like a, is a, like a flower, okay, with different level of floors. When there is an earthquake, the structure like this don't go down because you have only one pillar. Vinya's company went into partnership with the Japanese games giant Nintendo. They were also looking to simplify the way people were dealing with the game controller. Nobody was doing a three-axis sensor like we were doing. So we took a risk on both sides, but I think after seven years or eight years now, we are both glad of what we, we did. No? We changed together the way people uh, play games. And it was soon clear that the sensor had other applications. This is the beginning. After the, 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 the game, we went to smartphone, and this is the device with different functions, different sensors. You can rotate, you can rotate the image. So this is true for smartphone. It's true also for tablet. For example, here we have our motion sensors. When you flip, it readjusts the image. The sensor is now an essential part of every smartphone, tablet and camera. And this is where most of them are made. A factory in Milan, more like a space station. Shining disks or silicon wafers built up layer by layer, some 3,000 sensors per disk. At 18 million sensors a week, factory production is phenomenal, and so is annual turnover. Now it represents, as the market report says, uh, around $1 billion sales. When we started, it was zero. <laughs> $1 billion? $1 billion, yes. $1 billion with nine zeros. Okay. <laughs> This is the latest commercially viable application for 3D motion sensors. My body is covered with sensors, some 15 of them, and every movement I make is replicated on screen by this virtual dummy behind me. Already this technology has attracted interest from doctors and from sports scientists. 
And at the heart of all this success is the simplicity of the sensor itself. You know, it's actually physically holding something and you seeing something happen, but you're mm -hmm. manipulating the machine. I fully uh, agree with you. I fully agree. I, when I was at the university, I studied the quantum chromodynamics. It was too complex. This is much physical. It's simpler to explain. <laughs> to understand. <laughs>